episode how was I feeling I was feeling so nervous um, I didn't really know what to do to be honest and like I was so conscious in front of the camera I was just like hi I'm Grace And yeah, and my cousin and my brother were making fun of me behind, he's right there, but I don't have to see him. Like, so um, when we were filming like the kite scenes, when I just threw the kite up there, I was doing it with my brother and um, it made my experience on camera for the first time, like together with him, it was a really easy experience. It was like, Free flowing. It wasn't as scary because um, if I was alone, I think I would just be like so, like that. Or maybe I'd just be crazy, just like normal me. <laughs> um, that was the episode where we had to feed the fish and meeting the strangers and just really communicating with them. <laughs> it was. It was interesting because I don't, my parents always tell me not to talk to strangers, but in here in Say Grace, we call strangers unknown friends. At least this time I was able to put a smile on their faces. So it was raining on the first day. It was raining very, 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 very hard. And um, I was just like hoping it would stop and we just kept on praying. I was like, Lord, please stop the rain. And it stopped and like, the sun came out, the sun was shining, and by the time we went back to another location, there was a rainbow, and it was very bright, vibrant. I've never seen a, a rainbow just that vibrant before. And rainbows are very important to me because um, I feel that they represent uh, God's promise to mankind that he would never flood the earth again. I just thank the Lord so much that he really confirmed in my heart that this is what I would be doing. Uh, I would be vlogging, I would be putting smiles on people's faces, and yeah, it's really cool. I care, therefore I vlog. Birthdays don't have to be all about yourselves, but it's the perfect time to share and make others happy. Hi guys! <laughs> For my reverse birthday surprise, I have invited special guest from Ang Bahay Parola. So for my second episode, a few it was released a few days after my birthday, um, and like we were able to celebrate. It was like a reverse birthday surprise. Hopefully you watched it. Please watch it if you haven't. And um, it was a reverse birthday surprise where I celebrated with some unknown friends, but now are dear friends to me, and um, they are girls who have been through a lot of hard times in their lives and I was I was happy I'm, and I am happy that I was able to put a smile on their faces smiles on their faces Grace grammar again <laughs> smiles on their faces and basically yeah this this channel is just making people happy so if I keep on saying smile 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 that's what I want you to do smile <laughs> Don't worry, your camera's not on. I can't see you. And this is like pre-taped, so it's just smile. <laughs> Preparing for the party, I had to go and order some food 
And actually that day I wasn't feeling so well. I wasn't feeling so well. I was like under the weather and I think I had like, I, I think I had colds that day. So, but anyways, yeah, it was fun though. But during the shoot, I think I felt better after that. So um, yeah, and um, we prepared some food. I went to buy food for the girls. I went to bake some cupcakes, but don't worry. I was clean, like I had mask on, like obviously cleanliness. Yeah, I, I wasn't feeling that well, but it's not contagious. <laughs> and I washed my hands, I made sure I had the mask and hairnet and stuff like that, so we prioritize cleanliness here. Throwback to when I said that. This is very important because we do not want to get our hair inside the cupcake. So yeah, we made cookie, a uh, cook, 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 cookies. Cupcakes. We had cupcakes, chocolate, and pound cupcakes. And then after that, we went to Monochrome, and then we and put some decorations up, and we invited them inside, and they had so much fun. And I'm happy that they were blessed, and they blessed me. And I'm, I really love them. They're just adorable. If you meet them, you are gonna fall in love with them. I'm telling you guys, you are gonna love them. <laughs> yeah! A chance to inspire, create, and help save the environment. I smell another Say Grace happy mission of the day. Let's moving on to our recycling episode with Papele Kaan. Do you actually know what that means? I mean, if you see it in the... If you watch the video, you'll see the meaning. Derived from the word papel, which means paper, and lika, which means to make, papel likaan is a center where export quality woven baskets are created from used papers. As you see, I was very punny that day because I didn't know what to do. So are there how many strips of or rolls of paper do we need to make the basket? About how many? Mga 100. 100 pieces. 100? Yeah. Anyways, um, so I was joined by my two best friends ever since we were younger, like two years old. We were very close. They would always like come over to the house and just like, Okay, fine, we play with dolls, okay? It's normal. <laughs> Anyways, so we just have fun, we would just spend time together. And as we grow, grew up, we just really becoming very close to each other. And um, it was a cool experience as well. It's kind of like when my brother was there, I felt a bit more comfortable with them there. And I hope they had fun. I think they did have fun, I don't know. But <laughs> anyways, um, so Papa the Cat and we, we're able to create like this basket. Um, we still have a lot. We still have a lot of baskets we bought from them because they are just so nice. I love the baskets. And if you ever, if you live in the Philippines, go check them out. Go follow them on Instagram. Like they're cool. <laughs> when they, the nanais, the moms, the nanais of uh, okay, nanais is the Filipino word for mom. If you're not Filipino, but <laughs> um. Like they were creating like these rolls of paper and they made so many and I was only my, on my first one. And I was just like, wait, what? Like, how can you do it that fast? And she was already just like weaving it already. I was like, I'm still rolling my first paper roll. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, it was a different experience because I've never really worked with paper, like rolling it up and then making it into a basket. I can't do anything else aside from cutting it into a heart. But I love drawing. And if you love drawing, go hit the like button and go subscribe. And if you like smiling and everyone loves smiling, please go subscribe and hit the like button and comment down below. <laughs> Plug in. <laughs>
next I'm going to be talking about the Heroes episode, which actually took three days to film. Three days. And, I mean, it's cool to film in three days and put it into one episode. I, I don't know why I'm so nerdy right now. <laughs> I'm Lopi Morion Bacoma Jr. Anim na taon ako magtatabaw rin sa ITC. Sa busis ko, medyo iba talaga. Hindi na alam mo sa'yo anong pangyayari. Tapos pag uh, papaliwanan ko naman sila na ganun na doon, ay kuya, hero ka pala, ganun ganun. Hindi na masaya din. It's a really... It's, it's a nice episode because like I was able to see people like older than me just smile because I usually see kids younger than me like just smiling. I'm I'm very makulit. <laughs> if you meet me in person, I am very makulit and talkative. <laughs> but yeah, um, um, seeing these, putting smiles on people's faces like the ones older than me and people I've been seeing ever since I was like two years old, I would go to that mall, town center. Um, I just, I'm just so happy that they were able to smile again. One guy was able to see his children who are abroad. There are so many hardworking people there. So shout out to you guys if you are watching this and you were, um, even if you weren't part of it, you are still a part of it. Like, shout out to you guys. Hey, pa, ako natapos lang ng work mo. Wala akong ibang sasabihin kundi thank you. And thank you sa lahat. Hey, pa, musta kayo dyan? Wala <laughs> ito, masela. Enjoy lang palagi. <laughs> oh, my reaction to the security guard when he cried in the video, like from the video, like it was so touching. Like he, he cried, like he cried, like tears of joy, and like he just misses them. I'm sure. Like I miss Mike Kuya because he's like he's studying abroad, and I miss him a lot. If if you're watching this, Kuya, hello, <laughs> and future parent, my my future um future self, hello Grace, <laughs> and also future watching mom and dad, hello. Shout out to everyone who's watching this in the future. Today on Say Grace, we are launching our newest, coolest, and also fun segment entitled, drum roll please, Grace Period. Going back to being a server um, in Palms with Kuya LA and at the Karen. Karen and I'll be the one. I really didn't know that you had to be so strong to be a server. Good morning, sir. Good, Good morning, morning ma'am. Um, you have any reservations? Okay. Okay. One Americano. My handwriting is kind of jumbled up right now. Like, I don't know if the kitchen will be able to identify this. I have Ate Karen here with me to help. Like, just to I mean, I knew these people, time. okay? I knew these people, like, I was, I was family, I'm family friends with them. And, um, like, it's easier when you know the person, but you still have to treat them like you don't know them. I mean, like, not meanly, but, like, just, you, you, Normally, <laughs> anyway. So, um, yeah. But imagining how many people, if it was like a packed house, if it's a packed restaurant, and how many people there are, and you don't know them, it takes so much guts, people. It takes so much guts. But it's fun. You should also ask for their first name. First name. Yeah. So we can check and assess. Okay. For I mean, don't be scared if you are gonna try out to be a server. If you wanna like get an on the side job and just be a server, don't be scared. It's fun. And then you can just talk about water break. Water's water's good for you guys. Like, drink water right now. Like. You've been on YouTube for a while, so just drink water first. Not only does Say Grace teach about animals and how, how to be kind to people, it teaches different types of poo. <laughs> We're so proud. 
during that time. It was still eye-opening for me because like, you know, there are actually people who are really having a hard time in life. I'm just really glad I was able to perform in front of these these wonderful people. For the next chapter of Say Grace, just stay tuned and I love you guys. <laughs>